Hello everyone, it is Deafening Silence here, bringing something new to the channel. I actually had a, the next part of the Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver playthrough that I was going to do, but there's a lot of Pokemon content on this channel and there still will be. So I thought I could bring something a little bit different, and this is going to serve many purposes. Yes, what you are seeing here is the first volume of Tokyo Ghoul by Sui Ishida. And this is going to be a read-along of some of this. I don't know how I don't know how much I'm gonna get through this today, but um I want to read some of it for you guys and it serves many purposes. Number one, this is gonna be my first time taking a crack at this. I have not watch the Tokyo Ghoul anime, nor have I read the manga. I have not been a big manga reader. I have the first three volumes of Attack on Titan, and then we just, over this weekend, I went with my wife to Barnes and & Noble's, and I picked up volume one of Tokyo Ghoul, volume one of My Hero Academia, another one that I have not seen, and um, Noragami which I have seen both seasons of Noragami. And I recently got my wife into anime for the first time. Uh, she had seen a little bit growing up, but she hadn't really seen much. I had her watch both seasons of One Punch Man, and we're currently fixing to start the second season of Seven Deadly Sins. She is a fan. A big fan. <laughs> her favorite characters are Saitama and Bon. Um, mine are, from those two series, probably Genos and, oh, probably Meliodas, probably, probably. Anyway, us reading this today is going to serve multiple purposes. It's my first check, time checking it out, but also it could be the first time for other people that are maybe checking out manga or anime for the first time, or... They're already into it and maybe want to see other series and don't quite know what to expect. This could be a way for them to check this out and see if they'd want to read more of it. And of course it's combined with hopefully relaxing sounds of ASMR. So like I said, I don't know, I don't know how much we'll get through this today, but we shall see what happens. So let's begin. Like I said, it's, it's written by Sui Ishida. Um, and let me, actually real quick, real quick, let me read the back for you guys. Ghouls live among us, the same as normal people in every way, except their craving for human flesh. Shai Ken, Ken, Kaneki, Kaneki is thrilled to go on a date with the beautiful rise, but it turns out that she's only interested in his body. In eating it, that is. When a morally dubli when a morally dubious rescue transforms him into the first human, half human, half ghoul hybrid, Ken must survive ghoul, ghoul turf wars, learn more about ghoul society, and master his new powers. Sounds ominous. So let's get into this and see what happens. For people who do not know, manga reads from right to left. And there's a lot more information about manga that I could give, but for now, let's just read. Our humans are thought to be at the top of the food chain, but there are beings who hunt them as food. Oh, fuck. These monsters who feed on the dead flesh humans, they are called. Ghouls. And this first chapter is called Tragedy. The remains of a man's body were found on Takata Building Street on the 28th. Body fluid believed to have come from a ghoul was found at the scene. The authorities have begun investigating this as a ghoul attack. 
the horrific ghouls haunting the streets of Tokyo, what exactly are they? To answer that question, our guest today is ghoul researcher Dr. Ogura. Oh, check out this sketchy dude. Damn, the Takata building isn't that far from here. I bet you'd be eaten up before you knew it, Kaneki. Is it Kane Kaneki? If I pronounce anything wrong in this story, please, or anything at all, please forgive me. <laughs> I often have to listen to the anime first before I know, you know, how to pronounce stuff, so. Th they're not that weird. Ken Kaneki. College freshman, 18. Hi, you have to expose yourself to more good writing. No way. Books knock me out in five seconds. But, go, but going back to earlier, I've never seen a ghoul before. Do they really exist? These monsters that eat people? Of course they do. They say ghouls hide them. They say ghouls hide amongst us disguised as humans. They could be closer than we think. Disguised as humans, huh? Wait a second. I bet you're a ghoul, Kaneki. Yeah, right. If I was a ghoul, you'd be dead already. Even if they pass as humans, they're just human-shaped, right? This is what they probably look like. Here's mine. <laughs> hey. Anyway, Kaneki, enough about ghouls. Which one's the cute girl you've been talking about? Huh? Keep it down. And stop looking around. Oh, is that her? Right this way, please. Hmm. No, she works here. I was talking about a customer. She is pretty cute. Excuse me. Yes. Can you take our order? I'll have a cappuccino. What about you? I, I, I'm fine. One cappuccino. Uh, sorry, but can I ask your name? Oh, Lord. It's Tuka Kirishima. Kirishima. Lord have mercy, I'm not good at pronouncing stuff. <laughs> Miss Kirishima, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, um, <laughs> n no, I don't. Come back. Hide, what the hell, man? <laughs> She's so cute. For being obnoxious. This place is the only connection I have to the girl I was talking about. What if they ban us from... Oops, I'm sorry. She was so cute I couldn't help myself. What's wrong, dude? Over there. That's her. Kaneki. I'm just going to pronounce it Kaneki, I think. I'm saying this for your own good. Give up. Huh? She's way too hot for you. If she took off those glasses, she'd be something else. Er, I'm happy just looking at her from far. Plus, when our eyes meet, she smiles a little bit. You know what? You're kind of creepy. Maybe she actually feels the same about me. She's forcing a smile because you're staring at her. N no way. Well, I've got to see the girl you were talking about. I should get going. Gotta go to work. Good luck, dreamer boy. Jerk. See you later. T uh, see you later, Tuka. I'll, I'll go back to reading. She's obviously gorgeous. But there's another reason I'm attracted to her. She's reading Sin Takatsuki. An author I admire. And she's reading the same book I am. Egg of the Black Boat. Or Goat. Sorry, Egg of the Black Goat. The book is about a cold-blooded female serial killer called the Black Goat. And, and her only son. Although her son is disgusted with his mother's sickness, he eventually has to acknowledge the same cruel impulses growing inside him. The writing intertwines intense expressions with deli delicate psychological descriptions. It's Sin Takatsuki's seventh book. Whoa, she's coming this way. 
Ah, I'm sorry. Oh. Egg of the Black Goat. It's good, isn't it? I'm actually reading it right now. Are you a fan of Takasuki? Y yes, I love <laughs> Sin Takasuki. I uh, like mysteries. Oh, me too. Maybe I dropped the book at the perfect moment. That one's good too. Dot, dot, dot. No way. And so you guys are going out on a date? I guess everybody gets lucky once in a while. Yeah, so her name is Rise Kamishiro. Or Rize. Rise. I'm going to say Rise. It's by Rize or Rize or something. I'm gonna, yeah, let's do Rize. Rize Kamishiro. We're going to talk about our favorite books. It's my first ever outing with a girl. On top of that, it's the bookstore. <laughs> Day to my dreams. Hide. I'm so happy I could die right now. I don't see what's so great about a bookstore date, but I hope you have fun. Osama Desai wrote in the setting, Son, this I want to believe implicitly. Man was born for love and revolution. I want to believe that too. What should I wear? A similar incident took place on Shirakami Street. The composition of the body fluid matched that found at the scene from the 20th. I got some nice backdrop there. Oh dear, Cough. Or sorry, which one's your, which one's your best recommendation? Oh dear, Kafka. Hmm, maybe your first one. That trick with the letter was so unexpected. Her short short stories are good too, like Monochrome Rainbow. Is everything alright? <gasps> yeah, yeah. I was just uh. Just wondering why you're only eating a sandwich. I've been eating too much lately. Um, I'm kind of on a diet. Excuse me, I have to go to the ladies', ladies room. Of course, go ahead. She's not fat at all. Girls. Your blood type's A, B, mine too. Really, what a coincidence. Our taste in literature is the same. So is our age. We have so much in common. Th this is kind of going well. What's up, Tuka? Nothing. Thank you so much for today. No, thank you. I had fun. Well, I'm going that way, so... Um... I live a bit past Takata Building Street. Did you hear about what happened there recently? Oh, uh, the ghoul, yes. I can hardly sleep at night. It's been bothering me. I've been afraid to go home alone. So he walks home with her. <laughs> and so we all started firing bottle rockets at Hyde. <laughs> That's so mean, but it sounds kind of fun, too. Oh yeah, I have some drawings I and I drew in my bag. Drawings? Yeah, they were talking about ghouls on the news, so here they are. Idea, our ideas of what a ghoul looks like. Wow, that's really good. Hides is rather unique. It's strange though, isn't it? That you and I are walking together, all because of Takasuki's book. It's kind of amazing. And then she throws herself in there. Kaneki, the truth is, I noticed the way you've been looking at me. Kaneki, I've been... Uh-oh. This is about to... Chomp watching you too. Oh, no. She bit me. eyes. Delicious. Oh no. Are you alright? Hey, Kaneki. 
There's a scene I really like in Egg of the Black Goat. Oh, oh poor Kaneki. <laughs> it's the one where the black goat rips out the guts of a man trying to run away. No matter how many times I read that, it gets me so excited. <laughs> Your expression's beautiful. I understand. How could you have known? never have guessed that I was a ghoul. Gasp. Oh, Kaneki. Excite me. Oh, no. This is fixing to get... Oh, no. He starts running away. Haha, <laughs> come back. What was that? What was that? What was that? What did she say? tripped and he's being dragged away. Gotcha. Kaneki, you've never felt a ghoul's claws before, have you? Relax, I'll gouge out your insides gently. thing. <laughs> Starts trying to run away. She's coming after him, of course. I'm such an idiot. Thinking back now, her bumping into me, asking me out on a date. It was all calculated. I need to get out of here. Oh no, and he gets sliced. Or sh shanked. Oh my god, she impales him into the wall. Are you already dead? <laughs> I like bodies like yours, Kaneki. Just the right amount of fat. You're not very muscular, so you're tender. I wonder if you'll taste better than the two I ate earlier this week. Hmm? I don't know if it's hard to pick up there. Yeah, those double spreads are kind of tricky to get on camera. They're much easier to read up close. But, ah, why, why? Oh, she is dragged off or something. And he's fading out here. Hey, did you hear that? Huh? Yo, is that, is somebody under those steel beams? Oh my God, call an ambulance. Kaneki's here. He needs organ transport. There's blood type matches. Where, where am I? We can't reach his family. Without their consent, we can't. All I hear are their voices. Family? Organs? Dr. Kano, we have no cho other choice. What are they talking about? We can't let him die. I'll accept full responsibility. Transplant her organs into him. I'm not the protagonist of a book or anything. I'm just a normal college student who likes to read. Pulse is stable, but if I were to write a book with me as the main character, was a success. What are we fixing to see, folks? It would be a tragedy. <laughs> so that would be the first chapter. But of course, you know, according to Joker, his life's not a tragedy, it's a comedy. <laughs> so I suppose we could read one more chapter and just see how this goes because I'm kind of intrigued and again this is my first time reading this as well my first impressions are um, I'm not sure yet it's it's a little bit of a small world building at first so I'm not sure where we're at yet I, I need to read more and see how it goes but I am going to be interested to see what happens with them, where it goes but uh, yeah let's continue let's do one more chapter and see how it goes Chapter 2, 
Tokyo Ghoul. In one of Kafka's most famous stories, a young man turns into a giant insect. I read it when I was in fifth grade. At the time, I imagined what it would be like if I turned into a giant in insect. Kaneki, you've never felt a ghoul's claws before, have you? If someone... If so, is somebody under those steel beams? Call an ambulance. So we got like a flashback going on right now. Oh, no, actually chapter two is oddity, not Tokyo Ghoul. So we can be like roll credits. Did the girl consent to donating her organs? Was her family contacted? Was life-saving treatment withheld from her? you do everything you could to save her. She was pronounced dead upon arrival. We felt she died instantly at the scene. It was my duty as a doctor to save the life in front of me. That's why I made the decision I did. The more time passes, the more that incident that night seems unreal. But the scar how are you feeling, Mr. Kaneki? Pretty normal, I guess. If you continue taking the immunosuppressant, you should be back in school in no time. By the way, a nurse told me. The hospital food isn't to your liking. N no, it's good. He picks a munch. So fishy. <laughs> oh, are you done already? Yeah. You need to eat if you want to get better. I'm sorry, it just tastes kind of... What, may I? Tastes normal to me. What? Is it that you don't like fish? Don't be a picky eater. Okay. It's not just the fish. The miso sh soup tastes like machine oil. The texture of the tofu feels like a glob of lard. The rice feels like I'm kneading glue in my mouth. Every basically everything tastes awful. I've barely eaten anything. I've barely eaten anything, but for some reason I'm not hungry. Maybe I'm turning into an insect too. <laughs> During the few weeks I was in the hospital, I mostly got by on water. My appetite keeps shrinking. And then he got a text saying, Congrats on your discharge from Hyde. Let's go to Big Girl, my treat. Big Girl? Oh, Big Girl's an American-style restaurant chain. Hyde and I absolutely love their hamburger steak. Plus, a lot of their servers are cute girls, and so we always go there to celebrate occasions, special occasions. It's like Canaan in the Old Testament, so to speak. Our Shangri-La. Yo, you're looking good. Let's go inside. Oops. Welcome to Big Girl. Two hamburger steaks. Wait, I'll have the one with a fried egg on top. So one big hamburger steak and a hamburger steak with fried egg. Oh, she's so cute. But man, that doctor of yours is taking a beating in the press. It's all they're talking about on the talk shows. I guess the problem is he did an organ transplant without her or her family's consent. But she didn't have any family, right? They said she died instantly. Oh, sorry. Nah, it's okay. I haven't told anybody that she was a ghoul. No one would believe a story like that. By the way, you know Nishitani is in. You know Nishitani in our apartment, right? I met his girlfriend the other day. She looked exactly like that pro wrestler, Nakasu Nakasu. Uh, Kaneki, I'm telling a funny story. 
I'm listening. You have a girlfriend who looks like a pro wrestler. Congrats. <laughs> no, dude. Thank you for waiting. All right, here we go. Come on, let's eat. He's looking at it. He just can't. <laughs> Aren't you going to eat? Yeah. Chomp. Ish is so good. <laughs> All right, the meat's probably cooked, right? Hmm. Yeah, it's done perfect. Is yours raw? Cook it some more on the hot rock. Right. I've always liked hamburger steak. Especially big girls. It's juicy and full of flavor. Chomp. It's like licking a pig's guts. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, Kaneki. He spits it up. Something's not right. What the hell is going on? Is this yours? Here. Thank you, mister. The ghoul feeding case that occurred on Tak Takata Building Street. The red residents cannot hide their fear that this terrible spread across Tokyo. Joining us today is Dr. Ogura, an authority on ghouls. Ghouls have no need to consume such, such a large amount of food in such, such a short period of time. One dead body will sustain them for a month or two. What that means is that the increased number of victims we're seeing are being consumed for pleasure. We have ourselves one nasty ghoul. It's probably afraid of hi and hiding from the investigators right now. They usually live amongst us disguised as humans. Therefore, they're difficult to find. Oh, I see. Can't ghouls be satisfied with normal foods? Must be nice having a seat on that panel, this panel, despite your ignorance. First of all, ghouls cannot derive nourishment from anything other than humans. That's believed to be because of a unique enzyme they possess. On top of that, their tongues work differently than ours do, so our food tastes revolting to them. Vegetables taste grass, grassy, fish tastes fish, fishy, and meat tastes gammy. What? They may eat in front of us, but they'll be hit with a strong sense of nausea afterwards. You're starting to sound like a ghoul, Doctor. I know more about ghouls than ghouls themselves. <laughs> Is it possible that receiving a ghoul's organs somehow changed my body? He's laying over and he's tossing and turning. I'm overthinking things. He's getting hungry. hungry. In one of Kafka's most famous stories, a young man turned into a giant insect. The young man who became an insect saw his taste in food change. He could no longer eat fresh foods. He began preferring things like rotting cheese. If my taste in food changed, What's the cheese for me? And he eats stuff and proceeds to vomit it all up. <laughs> Look at all that leg you're showing. Come here. Let's have a good time. That's the girl I taught to it and in Tiaku. Soft looking legs. Fat. Those slender hips. Are, are they filled with innards? Huh? What are you looking at, buddy? Hey, I'm talking to you. You heard me. Don't touch me. And he's starting to change. What's wrong with your eye? My eye? Back off, you freak. And he immediately gets beheaded. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> you sicko. Sigh. Look what I did. I wasn't even hungry. I'll 
I'll take an arm at least. Even though old guy tastes nasty. Old guy meat tastes nasty. Jeez. What? A ghoul? Do you want it? Don't you want this? A ghoul. Aren't you gonna eat? Why is only one of your eyes red? Wait. Why weren't you eaten? He's shuddering. Huh? I thought. But your eye. And then he runs away. I can't believe there was another ghoul so close by. Th that arm. And he starts drooling. What's going on? Oh, and he still has it. He, th he throws it down. What the hell, asshole? The person you have dialed can't take your call now. At the tone, please leave your message. Uh, hello, Kaneki. How you feeling? You haven't been showing up to class. If you need my notes for Asian history, I can bring them to you. My handwriting sucks, so they might be hard to read. Text me if you want them. Knowing you, you're probably reading again, aren't you? Oh, that reminds me. What's her name? Takasuki is doing a signing at the book fair by the station. Isn't that the author you like? But I guess you can't go if you're not feeling well. Whatever, see ya. I forgot Sin Takatsuki's book signing was today. Then we have a nice little drawing of the city. Some more. Thought it would help take my mind off things. But it's over, of course. I'll go home and read the rest of Black Goat. A child. Young man, woman, woman, girl, meat, man, meat, woman, meat, 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 meat. staring. He probably scram he's probably scrambled in the head. He's holding down on his finger. He runs to a bathroom. Why? Why me? Why? And his little cut. Is the seventh book. Sin Takatsuki, an author I love. Black Goat is a story about a cold blooded female serial killer and her only son. Black Goat's son is the main character. That's why it's Egg of the Black Goat. Does that make me the egg of a ghoul? It's because of that operation, her organs were transplanted into me. If only I didn't have ghoul organs inside of me. Of course. Hey, I'd, uh, could you bring, could you bring over the Asian history notes? Yeah, sorry, thanks. I know the source of the problem, so all I have to do is remove it. Is he really fixing to try this? My kidneys. Maybe they'll give me new ones. If I can damage my kidneys and I'm lucky, and if I'm lucky. That's if I get lucky. Just in case, I can't call an ambulance myself. Light's coming to show me his notes. All that's left is to... All that's left is enduring the pain. He stabbed himself. Here it goes. Oh, he's fixing to stab himself. And he does. Oh, that's disgusting. What? Unable to hurt myself. Tormented by an unworldly hunger, yet not knowing how to satisfy it. No. There's a way. It's probably the only way. And he bent the knife trying to stab himself. But if I do that, I'll never I'll never be able to live I'll never be able to live with myself as a person anymore. But what other choice do I have? I'm 
sorry, sir, we're closed. Oh, you're, please help me, please. You're the only person I can go to. Ever since my body's become like this, things have been nothing but awful. Please, I, no. Judging from the eye on what you're saying, you used to be human, but you're a ghoul now. But, or, but now you're a ghoul. Tell me a former human. What does cake really taste like? It's so nasty, it makes me want to puke, so I don't know. But humans really seem to enjoy it. Donuts and tarts, too. What was it like living without fearing for your life? Not having to be afraid of ghoul investigators or, cra or other crazy ghouls. Come on, tell me. Awful. Give me a break. Does that mean things have been nothing but awful for me since the moment I was born? Like hell, I'd help you, asshole. You can die for all I care. Toka. I think he's been through enough. Sir, it must have been difficult. Come on in. Sir, why? He looks like one of us to me. He used to be human. Ghouls help one another. That is our policy at Anteku. She's glaring at him. Watch your step. A refrigerator. I had no idea something like this was under the cafe. I'll give you one package for the time being. Come by again when you need more. Don't be a stranger. Am I really going to eat this? Yep. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, we're at chapter four now. Whoops. And that's it. We've gotten to chapter four named Coffee. So that's roughly half the book read. I'm going to save the rest for later. But, um, so my first impressions after reading a few chapters are kind of creepy, kind of gross, um, but kind of cool at the same time. I'm really curious to see him, like, manifest his powers and, like, really start to do stuff with them. Because I've seen some pictures of, like, characters from Tokyo Ghoul and it looks pretty awesome. So, um, the artwork is okay. Um, most of it's solid. There's, there's some weird panels and like some weird expressions from the characters and stuff. And, uh, of course these writers, they're under a time crunch to get chapters out weekly. And so, you know, some, some panels look really rushed. Some look simple. No, you know, a terrible amount of detail put into them, but, um, so far I kind of like it. I feel sorry for Kaneki, <laughs> if that's how you pronounce his name, but, um, that is the first chapter, for, or first half, rather, of the book for folks. If you like it, you know, of course there are places to buy it, but if people like this sort of thing on here, if it's really relaxing for you, I can do more. I could do My Hero Academia, you know, some of the first on there. I could do, you know, Norgami. I plan to buy some more. I plan to buy some of the manga of animes that I have watched to collect. So, anyway, if you're interested in uh, seeing more on here, let me know. Shoot a like my way and subscribe. Let me know that, you know, you appreciate the content. Um... But for now, I'm going to sign off and I will catch you guys on the next video. <clears throat> Be safe out there. I hope you're doing all right in these crazy times. And uh, be good to your family and loved ones. And stay strong out there. Take care, guys. Definitely signs out. <laughs>